I am the wife of 26 years to Carlton Pearson and the mother of Prince Julian and Majesty Amor. Bishop Carlton Pearson passed away on November 19th. There were three homegoing celebrations in his honor in Tulsa, Oklahoma. One of the celebrations was an Episcopal celebration at Transformation Church where Pastor Mike Todd is the lead pastor. Bishop Carlton leaves behind his mother, Lily Ruth Johnson, who is 94 years old, his siblings, his ex-wife Gina Marie Pearson, and their two children. Gina and his two children honored Bishop Carlton Pearson with tributes at Transformation Church, where they discussed Bishop Pearson's hardships, his hand in bringing the family closer, and how he transitioned with grace. Take a listen. I am the wife of 26 years to Carlton Pearson, and the mother of Prince Julian and Majesty Amor. And I'm the only one in this room that could capture your attention with the untold story of the great husband and father that he is. But we all know, don't we, John DeStito and Brian Keith, that this is not the time for that. Come Monday is a story that will be told in the appropriate time. But today, this moment, I acknowledge him as my greatest teacher. He taught us all some great lessons, one being how to finish what he started. He brought his family back together. And between us, there was much restoration and reconciliation between us, between the four of us, between each of us individually in these last months of his life. The second lesson that he taught us was how to exit this third dimension, how to complete and how to die fearlessly and with great courage, how to die with dignity on his path to yet a higher dimension, on the path of which he took a new dimension in consciousness, one of an expanded consciousness to know, to let go, of a God with limitation, of a belief in a God of limitation. He took on one of an expanded consciousness, of a God that loves everyone, of an eternal presence that's present in each of us. Yes, the individual expression of who that universal love and expression is in each of you, in each of us. That expression of unlimited potential and possibility. That of which he saw in each of us. He called it forth in each of us. And that is the legacy that I want to encourage you to live. That everybody, each of us, is doing the best that we know to do. We can love in spite of. We can forgive because he first forgave us. I mean, we cannot, if you choose not to, then you short circuit the possibility of the very essence of God in you through that of sickness and illness. So as we move forth in, in standing with this man who stood with each of us, let us literally make love palpable. Like when we walk into a room, you can feel it oozing through us. Otherwise, what reason do we have to be here? I love you. I wish the lights were up 
and I had the privilege to have an encounter with each of you because this is the legacy he has le left for me. I simply wanted him to be a husband and a father, but he was a great legend. He was a man of unlimited possibility. I know that this day, and with you, I honor him. Thank you. And uh, with all the pain and suffering that this man has went through physically, spiritually, emotionally, he walked us through these last six, eight months, like flawlessly. And he doesn't have to suffer anymore. Um, he's my hero. He's my best friend. And uh, I, don't, I don't speak much, uh, but I, I couldn't do or be anything without him and him. So thank you for letting us be here. My, my family, my brother, um, his parents. We love you all, um, and he did too. He still does, so thank you. Love you. The question is not why is he gone. It's why are we still here. So I want us to be encouraged this morning as we mourn that Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. And the legacy is within all of us. Um, he's, he was a spiritual being having a human encounter, and we got to encounter and be imparted by him. And so I just want to encourage everyone to um, make your spiritual encounter count as dad did. Thank you, guys. This is it. My name is Majesty Pearson. I'm 21 years old. I was born in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and I grew up singing in the choir at church. My dad is Bishop Carlton Pearson, and he is a world-renowned evangelist. Oh, but just keep your eyes focused. People would bring their families from all over the world and come and hear him speak. It was like a big concert. He was a rock star. Being around that energy was what really inspired me to want to pursue music as a career. My dad was at the height of his career, and suddenly he had this shift in his beliefs and decided that there was no hell and that everyone was going to heaven. If he didn't condemn, why do we? The community labeled my father as a heretic. Friends I had since I was little, suddenly they stopped talking to us. The church eventually shut down, and we lost everything. I can't even imagine all that he had to like go through for him to still like come home and smile. But his heart and his determination has always been consistent. And that's what inspires me and that's what I feel like I have because that's my pop. Yes. Majesty used music and that's how she managed her pain. She would kind of lay her head on my lap and sing. that we could uh, make this moment go to another level is hearing the DNA of that man's voice in his daughter. And coming to sing the prayer, would you please welcome Majesty Amor and Yolanda Adams. Majesty Pearson. Just where we go and help us to be wise in times when we don't know. Oh, let this be our prayer when. to a place 
want you to turn to somebody and say, I wish I could tell you about those little narrow paths I had to walk. Some of them I had to walk all by myself. Many times I couldn't even see Jesus. I, I couldn't hear him, but every once in a while he'd give me a little hint that he was there.